several shootings around town, and three people killed. But tonight, hope for residents in one city neighborhood. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Kelly Brennan was there as a new community center was unveiled. This is the day the Grayson family has long been waiting for. The entire community came out to witness history, to witness a place that is opening up to provide so much hope for the Hill District. There was a moment Reverend Glenn Grayson thought he'd never see this day. You know, after losing uh, my youngest son, Jerron Xavier Grayson, um, on October 17th, I said I would never have another great day. But today is really a great day. Jerron was 18 when he was shot and killed at a party. He was home from college for the weekend, visiting friends in California, PA. The day before he was killed, he told his family he wanted to help people. So they found the perfect way to honor him, opening the Jerron X. Grayson Community Center. I'm tired of burying young people senselessly, and I hope this building will be. Uh, will draw young people, will provide positive influence, insight, and direction for them. They brought this site in the Hill District full circle, restoring the former Ozanam Cultural Center. They'll provide after school programs for middle and high school students, everything from games to academic support and training for jobs. Without question, this has been the roughest week of the administration. And to be able to stand here uh, at a place that several years ago was vacant, in a community that needed help, on the fourth anniversary when a family lost their son and to see it all come together in a positive way of building back something that was a critical part of the Hill District and making it even better. Reporting in the Hill District, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.